You have a Division One guy, yep. you know, and Terrence Schwartz. I mean, uh, what can that guy do actually to get better? You know, it's, it's working little things, um, you know, moving our feet more, uh, blowing through our shots more, heavier with our hands, uh, you know, all around just, just the little things uh, you tinker with and, and you make adjustments with. And then obviously when he gets to the, the UW room next year, you know, they'll, he'll make leaps and bounds. But uh, right now we're just tinkering some different finishes and, and different shots and, and opening up his offense. You know, he signed with Wyoming. Do you think that was good for him to commit early so he can actually concentrate on his senior season here? Yeah, yeah, big time. It's uh, it's a lot easier to wrestle when you're, you're committed somewhere and you don't have to worry about where you're going to be going for school. And, and it's also uh, the pressure of, though, I need to keep getting better, you know, and that's what a lot of people don't realize is is uh, he's wanting to continuously, you know, get better. And, and to do that, we got to do the little things. It looks like those summer tournaments in Virginia Beach, I mean, were just exceptional. I mean, they really, really helped him. Yeah, yeah. You know, he ended up placing seventh out in Virginia. And then the next week we turned around and, and went to Flow Nationals, and he ended up placing fourth there and, and had a tough uh, – round of 16 or tough quarters, he ended up having to wrestle back and, and I wrestled the same kid for third and fourth again, ended up coming up short, but that kid was a NC State commit. So, I mean, we're seeing top of the line guys, Virginia Beach, out in Pennsylvania, uh, even down when we go to Rocky Mountain Nationals with our different guys, you know, we're seeing top caliber everywhere we go. So it's good to get those postseason tournaments. You know, they pay dividends when we get to season. Uh, Carr is a one guy that's placed second. I mean, you have high hopes for him too, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, little uh, stressed and little uh, how do I even say it uh, you know he's not he's not uh, satisfied with that second or making finals you know uh, that's burning in him so he wants that state title this year and and uh, it looks like 45 will be a good bracket here as well as state so we're looking forward to all the uh, competition that fire if it spreads to everyone else that's a good thing yes yeah you know we got a lot of guys that are hungry and and you know like I said last year we had one guy that returns that that did what he wanted um, as far as as far as being a state champ, so we got uh, seven other guys, eight other guys that fell short of their goals that were state placers, and then we also have the guys that fell short um, of not either qualifying or, or not getting that top six, and, and their goal is to either win it or, or be that top three kid. And so, uh, when you're hungry like that, you know there's a lot of hard work that's going in. Is there a couple other kids you think you can place this year? Oh yeah, yeah, a kid that's kind of going under the radar is Ryan Robertson, you know, which is fine with us. Uh, but he's put in the time over the summer and the spring, and and um, as well as this this early fall, he's put in the time. And and uh, you know, we haven't seen the the tough guys in Wyoming. We've been to the tough tournaments out out of state as well as you know Montana and, and South Dakota. But we're ready to see these tougher guys in Wyoming and see where where he's at and what he needs to do to to be that top placer or that state champ.